Welcome back. We're into the Working with Images lesson, and I want to show you how some of what you've been reading about is actually put into practice. So I've picked a random theme here, and I'm on a title and content slide. I'll give the slide a title. I'll just call this Graphics Demo. And now I'm going to go up to the Insert tab of the ribbon. This is where I can add content. So over in the Images group, I'll click the Pictures button. And it's bringing me into the sample pictures that I have on my hard drive. So I'll select one of these images. I'll select the koala bear. Click the Insert button and the image has been inserted into the slide. Now, a couple things to note about working with images. One thing is that if you need to size the image, always size from the corners. You'll see there's these handles around the edges. You always want to go from a corner handle. By dragging from a corner handle, it will keep the sizing proportional so you're not stretching or scrunching the image. So I'll make this a little bit smaller. You also have a rotation widget, if you will. You'll see there's this little rotation button at the top center of the image. And if I wanted to rotate it, I can go to that button and drag at it to rotate the image. And now I'll just move this off over here to the right. You can also select online images to insert. So to do that, I'll go back up to the Insert tab of the ribbon. And over in the Images group, this time I'm going to click Online Pictures. A dialog box opens, and there's two choices. You can either do a Bing image search, or you can go to OneDrive. If you have images that are saved to the cloud, you could go to OneDrive. I'll do a Bing image search, and there's a search field, and I'll type in spring flowers, and then press enter. It gives me a gallery of images matching my, my search terms. There's also a yellow banner that is warning us that we should be aware of licensing issues with using images that have been found online. So I'll scroll down and I'll find some images that I like. And maybe I want to add, oh, I don't know, I'll add, I'll add these pretty flowers here. Select the image, click insert. The image has been inserted, so again, I'll size this image, always going from the corners. And I'll bring it over, and maybe I'll rotate this image as well. PowerPoint also lets you capture screenshots. So to do that, you'll go back up to the Insert tab of the ribbon, and over in the Images group, this time I'll click on screenshots. It happens that I still have the My Agenda file open from our previous lesson, so I'll go ahead and select that. I'll need to size it down, going from the corner. And that's it. So next up, we'll be looking at editing images, including cropping images, when you want to not only resize them, but actually crop portions of the image out of the visible area. So there's some reading to do, and then we'll get right back here. See you soon.